Today, we're going to dive into the Monera Kingdom. We'll explore what it is, its key characteristics, how it's structured, and how it's classified. What is the Monera Kingdom? The natural world is often divided into five kingdoms, and the Monera Kingdom is home to some of the earliest, most abundant and widespread organisms on Earth. These tiny creatures, called prokaryotes, are single-celled beings with a well-defined nucleus. They typically measure between 3 and 5 micrometers. Monera can be found in all sorts of environments. They can thrive with either a self-sufficient or an external source diet. The single cells wonders can even live together in colonies formed when daughter cells from cell divisions stick together. Monera Kingdom Features Monera come in a variety of shapes like spheres, rods, tiny commas, or even spirals. Some can even transform their shape depending on their environment and the resources available. These single-celled beings rely on glycolysis for energy, breaking down molecules they get from their surroundings. Unlike complex organisms, Monera lack most organelles. Since they are single-celled with low energy demands, Monera primarily uses a process called glycolysis. This breaks down sugars from proteins, carbs, and fats to create energy. Some bacteria can even utilize inorganic sources for carbon. However, pathogens are heterotrophic, meaning they get their nutrients, including nitrogen, from both organic and inorganic sources. Furthermore, Monera lack complex organelles found in other cells. They reproduce asexually through binary fission or budding. Anatomy of the Monera Kingdom now, let's explore the typical structures found within a Monera cell. Bacteria capsule. Some bacteria have a sugary coating around them like a sticky shield. This shield helps them stick to things and can also make it harder for our body's defenses to fight them. Bacterial wall. Not all Monera have one, but many do. This essential structure, called a cell wall, gives bacteria its shape and keeps everything inside from bursting due to pressure. Plasma membrane. Just inside the cell wall is a thin, stretchy border called the plasma membrane. It controls what goes in and out of the cell. Since Monera lack internal compartments, this membrane is also where important jobs like breathing, and sometimes making food happen. Cytoplasm. Inside the cell wall and membrane lies the cytoplasm, a jelly-like substance packed with essential ingredients for the cell. This includes vitamins, minerals, sugars, proteins, fats, and the cell's instruction manuals, DNA, and RNA. Not only that, but ribosomes, the tiny structures crucial for protein productions, are also abundant within the cytoplasm. Periplasmic space. Gram-negative bacteria have unique space between their inner and outer cell walls, called periplasmic space. This space is filled with a special fluid containing digestive enzymes and proteins that help capture and process nutrients for the bacteria. Nucleoid. Monera store their genetic information in a region called the nucleoid. This area appears denser under a microscope, but unlike our own cells, it doesn't have a surrounding membrane. Endospore. Some bacteria can form a tough outer shell called an endospore. It shields them from harsh conditions until things improve for them to grow again. Pili and Fimbriae. Some bacteria have hair-like structures called pili or fimbriae. These act like tiny hooks, helping them cling to surfaces for food or even cause infections. Flagella. 
Prokaryotic cells that move do so using structures called flagella, different from those found in an eukaryotic cell. Ribosomes Scattered throughout the cytoplasm of Monera cells are tiny structures called ribosomes. These ribosomes play a vital role in building proteins, essential molecules for life in all organisms. Inclusion bodies These act as internal stockpiles for various resources. They can store carbon, nitrogen or phosphorus for later use, or even help some bacteria with buoyancy control. Monera Kingdom Classification In the past, Monera Kingdom encompassed both eubacteria, which is true bacteria, and archaebacteria, archaea. However, as scientific understanding advanced, it became clear that archaea have significant differences from bacteria, both in terms of genetics and biochemistry. Therefore, they were classified as separate domains. We have bacteria, formerly known as eubacteria, and archaea. Archaea, the ancient archaebacteria. These ancient microbes hold the title of some of the earliest life forms on Earth. Unlike most life, they thrive in extreme environments such as hot springs, acidic environments, saline areas, and deep sea vents. Their success goes beyond a tough cell wall. They possess unique cell membranes, specialized enzymes, and metabolic pathways that allow them to reign supreme in these unforgiving conditions. Bacteria, the old eubacteria. Bacteria, another major group of single-celled life, are everywhere. They have unique cell walls and some can even move around with flagella. These versatile microbes may also have tiny hairs to grip surfaces or swap genes with others. Cyanobacteria Finally, cyanobacteria, once called blue-green algae, are photosynthetic bacteria, essential for our environment. They capture sunlight for energy like plants, existing as single cells, colonies or filaments with sizes varying across species up to 60 micrometers. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to write your questions or suggestions in the comment section below. And until next time.